Struggling to find enough flow trees and get your hands onto some much needed flow infused wood? Well, it's never been easier to find batches of flow trees. Stick around if you want to find out when and where flow trees groves appear and what to do when they do, including etiquette. This ensures as many players, including yourself, gets a fair share of the loot. You'll need this wood to craft some of the finer, magical items in the game, including the exquisite tools. Flow trees were scarce to find and these groves are a new addition to the game since 0.173 build when both water and fire temples were unlocked. According to the developers of the game, that caused an increased concentration of flow and created this mystical phenomenon in the world. If you're in the Bahari region at 12am in-game, you may hear a swirling, howling wind only if you're close to a spawned grove. This happens every hour in real life, usually in sync with the turn of the hour, depending on your time zone. The howl is directional, so if you put your headphones on, you can sometimes infer the placement of the spawn grove or how loud or faint it is. You can travel to Bahari on foot, which is found at the east of the main map, or use the quick travel stables for a small cost. Choose the Bahari Central Stables option and I'd allow at least 30 in-game minutes to allow you to get to the place. This puts you on the north side of the aqueduct, which I'll show you a map of the Grove spawn points in just a bit. Many like to position themselves near the aqueduct passageway as this allows you to hear both north and south sides of the aqueduct Grove spawns. If a flow tree grove isn't cleared in one day, then a second may appear, but no more than two will ever exist at one time. Here's a map of the known locations of the groves. If you know any more, please let us know in the comments. If you're in the wrong part of the map, you won't hear the howl. In this case, I'm at Thorny Thicket, but the grove was in the southern part, the Bahari map. If you need to, you can head to a quick travel point using the stables, or do it all on foot. Each grove location has a set number of trees of varying sizes, from just two which is usually found in the flooded ruins, to up to 11 like this one at Pulsewater Plains. You can tell that it's a grove when it has a swirling purple flow above the area. With 13 grove points to find, it can be a tricky task. It's best to enlist the help of others in the server and divide and conquer. I've broken the map into a few runs to allow you to go from A to B to be close enough to see the swirls as you pass through. Here's a four player alternative to work together with roughly about the same travel distance. At the turn of midnight I personally like to start near this junction here. It's between Thorny Thicket and northwest of Proudhorn Pass. It gives me a good run of four potential grove points which I call the North Horizontal Run. I mark my target spot and beeline to that end point hoping to find the grove. Another run starting from the flooded fortress, I can do a vertical run due north towards the outskirts, which also gives me another coverage of four potential grove points. You might be lucky enough to see one spawn before your very eyes. The visibility of the swirl is about 100 meters away, so as you approach or pass spawn points, use this as a guide. I've kept this in mind when designing these runs to allow you to best see them as you approach. With the introduction of the flow tree groves, so have been the flare arrows, which you can craft to help others find you and or the grove. Once you have a bow equipped, switch your arrows using X if you're on the switch, to switch to the flares and this is how awesome you look holding a flare arrow. If you're the one looking for the flares, this is what they look like from afar and nothing quite like approaching with others chasing them as well. However you find the grove, I'd recommend taking a moment and marking each one of these trees by hitting them once. Despite this one spawning right in front of me, flow tree grove parties aren't always orderly. I've been to many that get a little out of hand like this one. If you don't help keep the order, you can quickly be left with nothing to show for it. So even if you miss out, you can at least pick up the scraps if you've hit each tree once. When it's coordinated and friendly, it can be quite an enjoyable experience. Feel free to take the lead with some of these tips I'm about to share and help others learn from your experiences. Here are a few tips for etiquette to make sure everyone walks away with not just a fair share of flow infused wood, but a positive experience. Be active in the chat to tell others that you're hunting for it or if you found it. 
if you do find it, flare the site to help others find it as well. I found it's best to fire one at the main trees of the flare as it shows both above the tree as it falls down to help others see it from a distance. Another method is just to shoot it at the ground. It has the same effect. As you wait for others to arrive, and as I hinted earlier, mark the trees with a single cut to ensure you get a piece of the loot if you miss out in the flurry of chopping. Be mindful of the size of the tree so that you don't cut too soon after another marking so you might chop it down. Ask in chat if anyone else is coming, along with an indication of how many people and or trees are at the site. Give everyone a reasonable deadline to reach the site. Everyone shares the same in-game time, so giving a target time makes it easy. Initiate a sit or a kneel, and it shows the intent that you're showing patience to wait for others. Hopefully others will also join in on the gesture. When the target chop time is reached, I think it's nice to confirm when you're about to start so everyone can gather around a starting tree. Equipping the axe or jumping up from a kneel or a sit is another visual cue that you're about to start. Let the chop begin. And the other tip is don't rush from tree to tree. If you rush, everyone rushes. It's infectious. Instead walk tree to tree and it gives another one a chance to catch up with a jog. Also try to read the cues from others. If someone is standing back, maybe they're trying to communicate. In this case, someone is standing off waiting for a friend or someone else that you might have missed in chat. And finally, don't forget to celebrate the teamwork. It feels great when you've coordinated an orderly grove felling and you've worked hard to show restraint and helping others in this fun MMO. Oh, by the way, I was curious about using the dowsing rod. You can craft this recipe after learning it when you get to level 8 from foraging from Ashura. I collected the coral needed, which I got from the east coast of the Bahari region. After activating it, I was hopeful that I'd see the groves pop up. But I noticed that I saw the trees on the map after I'm already close enough to see the grove anyway. I'll leave you with a map with the cardinal IDs, so that's north, south, east, west and central. Feel free to share this map, I'll also leave it in the description along with the scouting runs. If you want a quicker way to chop wood and pickaxing at rocks, check the video on screen and shout out to my members of AG Nation.